it's a bit of an update on what, what I'm working on at the moment with regards to the randomization. Uh, this is the old way that you can see in the most recently released uh, version. So this one you can get to by crossing the bridge from Old Town. It can be made so that if you go over the edge of it, it resets it and, and creates a new town. It was a good proof of concept and it works pretty well, but it's not as flexible scaling up. Um, so that one supported about, I think it's about six different building layouts uh, that it could be. Uh, whereas the new one that I'm working on now, that currently has 11 and I can keep going from there. What you're looking at here is one of the cubes from the old way of doing it. Uh, so you can see I just overlaid the lines for the building. So this is a top down view uh, looking at the buildings. So in the middle there you've got the um, the church, those smaller cubes there, the um, pillars from the petrol station. You can see this is what it's like when you've got the 9x9 nine nine grid. So it's really quite intricate uh, in terms of the number of lines. The problem being that the more potential layouts you have, the more lines and the more lines you need in each of those squares so it really starts to add up. So this is a new layout which I've been working on where the lines are actually reused between each of the things so that that you're looking at there that's the hospital that's the barn um, this is a field I believe uh, that's the hangar um, and uh, that's oh sorry that's a field um, this is the two barracks next to each other uh, I think that's probably the shop. So you can see it's, it's reusing the lines each time. So even if I want to add new uh, new buildings to it, I can probably still reuse some of the lines that I've, I've got from there. This is just a testing place. So you can see the, the main square down at the bottom. Uh, and then uh, by running uh, some code on it, we can then spawn. I'm just spawning some little fences there just so you can see, uh, so that we can see it and it, it also makes the line blocking. So the reason that we're doing this is that Doom you can create, you can add models in but you can't actually have any collision detection on it so what you have to do is put collision lines within the game itself uh, and have just a model that you can walk through. That hanger that you saw flash up there, that's the, adding the first of the, the models into it. So I've got quite a bit of work to do now going through. Previously, obviously, I'd, I'd uh, drawn out the uh, the floor textures so they match the buildings that it's on. Now I need to go back, redo all of those textures, and also make a load of new models because the models won't be quite the same dimensions anymore. Hopefully, though, this should make it a lot more scalable. Uh, if you've got any comments or uh, questions, feel free to drop in on the Discord channel. There's a link to it at uh, doomz.co.uk. If you want more videos of the Doomz side of things, uh, check out the channel there. And there's a second channel which is unlisted videos, but for the incremental changes. Thanks again.